Hello and welcome everyone to the daily news analysis of 23 of January 2024. So important article as we see today. First article is consecration dawn. PM calls it a historic day. Then Chinese vessel Chinese research vessel enters Indian Ocean heading to Malay says tracker. Then Supreme Court to decide if center enclosed on Punjab's domain with no iron st- or steel. Ayodhya is a Ayodhya Temple is a study of in sandstone. Jammu CSIR lab finds cannabis found that has antibiotic effect. Why was FCRA registration for several NGOs cancelled? So, we will see these articles one by one. So, let's start. So, the first article is Chinese vessel enters Indian Ocean. PM calls it a historic day. The Prana Pratishta or consecration of the idol of Lord Ram at the Ram Temple in Ayodhya took place on Monday amid chanting of hymns and performance of rituals with Prime Minister Narendra Modi and other dignitaries in attendance. Mr. Modi, who participated in the ceremony, termed DJ it a historic day, stating that it was akin to a national. Nation rising by breaking the mentality of slavery, drawing courage from <coughs> every application, applications of past and creating a new history. Mr. Modi, one of the judgments empowered to conduct the rituals of the ceremony, took, a, took the Sankalpa a restoration for the Prana Pratishta and later worked inside the Sanctum. sanctum of the temple with a silver chat- chatar metal deity played on a red folded sheet of cloth. The consecration rituals were performed inside the sanctum by Mr. Modi, which took place during the Abhijit Mohurta. Abhijit Mohurta, a highly auspicious period in Vedic astrology. After the ceremony, Mr. Modi broke his 11 day fast, which was part of his spiritual preparation for the rituals. Later, addressing a gathering of around 8,000 dignitaries and guests, the, Ram, the Prime Minister said Ram Lala as, a, as the deity in the named, as the deity is named, would not be in a tent any longer. A reference to makeshift arrangements that have been put in place after the destruction of Babri Masjid, Mr. Modi said the moment was not just a Vijay victory but also Vinay humanity and invited those who had opposed the Ram Temple to also come and experience the feeling. Judicial process expressing gratitude to the judiciary for upholding the dignity of law and justice. He said the grand temple was built in a judicial manner. In our constitution, in the in its first copy, Lord Ram is there even after the advent of constitutions, legal battles over the existence of Lord Ram continued for decades. I express my gratitude to the judiciary which upheld the dignity of justice. The temple of Lord Ram synonymous with justice was also built in a judicial manner, said Mr. Modi, called, called upon the Critics of Ram Temple to introspect while describing the temple as a symbol of play, peace and harmony. The Prime Minister said there was an apprehension that if Ram Temple was a brilliant unbuilt, but that they failed to understand the purity of the Indian society. Ram Temple is a symbol of peace, patience, harmony, maturity of Indian society. Today I call upon those people to Rethink their perspectives, Mr. Modi said to the audience, who is comprised prominent people from all the walks of life, including Sears, who has been 
Involved in the Ram Temple movement, industrialist like Mukesh Ambani and his family, family stars like Rajnikanth and Amitabh Bachchan, as well as Uttar Pradesh Governor Anand Anandiban Patel, speaker on the inclusive speaking on the inclusive and inclusiveness and spirit of the service of the characters in the Ramayana and the life of Lord Rama. The Prime Minister said that there was much of much to learn from them. We need to learn the value of service and loyalty from the from Lord Hanuman, fortitude from Adivasi mother Sabari, who had the conviction that Ram would arrive while the Nishad Raj had helped Ram and Sita cross the Ganga in his boat. He said even the smallest of the creatures such as squirrel had contributed, contributed to the construction of Ram Setu, while the <coughs> Jatayu had taken on Ravana to save Sita despite knowing, knowing he would be defeated, Mr. Modi said. Seeking forgiveness, he also tendered an apology seeking forgiveness from Lord Ram on the centuries of wait till today consecrations, citing that perhaps that there might have been deficiencies in our efforts for it to be so. The Prime Minister added that there is a question over what to flow after consecrations of the Ram Temple. This Grand Ram Temple will be a witness to the rise of magnific magnificent India. It teaches us that if the goal is proven true, if it is born out of collective and organized strength, then achieving that goal is not impossible. We should take a place to build a capable debt developed a magnificent and divine India. It is our time we have reached there after centuries of waiting. This is the steps towards nation building, he said. Later, Mr. Modi went to Kubertila, located in southwestern part of the Ram Temple complex, which, which houses an ancient temple of Lord Shiva to offer prayer. The next article is Chinese Research Vessel Center, India Ocean, Indian Ocean heading to Malay says Tracker. The Chinese Research Vessel Jiang Yang Hong 03 is entering the Indian Ocean and leading heading headed to Maldives according to open source intelligence observer and maritime tracking portals. Official sources acknowledged the development but did not comment, comment on it. The destination Malay is noteworthy given the moratorium of foreign research vessel by Sri Lanka and ongoing friction between India and Maldives over the Indian troops stationed there. Jijang, Jiang Yang Hong 03, a Chinese ocean research vessel, is entering the Indian Ocean region, displaying its destination as Malay. The vessel is expected to run an ocean survey operation in the Indian Ocean region, raising concerns in India, Ocean Handel, and Adderet Distray. Distress far posted on X. This is a routine moment on Indian official source said without commenting further. Steady rise, as reported by the Hindu earlier, there, there has been steady rise in the deployment of Chinese research vessels in the IOR, and the general area of deployment has been observed around the 90 degree east ridge and southwest Indian ridge. This vessel has these vessels have powerful equipment for the snooping and gathering a range of data amid repeated messages from New Delhi, Colombo. In December 2023, announced a year-long moratorium on foreign research vessel visiting Sri Lankan waters, Zhejiang Yang Hong 03, which was scheduled to call at a Sri Lankan port. This year is now reportedly heading to Maldives, voicing concerns the, de the development comes after India and US over the last couple of years voiced concern with Sri Lankan authorities over the visits of Chinese vessels to Indians in 
to island ports for research purposes. Reports of the Chinese vessels arrival in Maldives later this month coincides with the visit of the Chinese Communist Party of Party's Vice Minister of the International Department to the Maldives, the CCP son Haryana called on President Mohammed Moiju on Monday less than a fortnight after the Maldivian leaders return from China. The development also comes after comes days after the foreign ministers of India and Maldives met Uganda on sidelines of the non alignment movement summit. Then next article Supreme Court to decide center encroved on Punjab's domain. The Supreme Court on Friday decided to examine if all border states have to be treated alike, alike while demarcating the areas of jurisdiction of the border security force a central unit. The court was hearing a dispute raised by the state of Punjab against the center for extending the VSF's jurisdictions from 15 km to 50 km from the India-Pakistan border. The Apex court said it would determine whether the center had encroached into the legislative domain of the state of Punjab. A three-judge bench headed by Chief Justice of India D.Y. Chandrasud fixed the third week of April for hearing the suit filed by Punjab accusing, accusing the center of virtually stripping the state and its police of its power. The constitution gives the state control over the police and the of maintaining public order. Punjab has cancelled, challenged the constitutional validity of a notification issued by the center in October 2021, extending the reach of the BSF to 50 km in invoking by invoking sections 139 of the BSF Act 1968, the provision authority author, authorizes the center to confer powers and duties on members of the BSF forces in respect of any central acts the purpose of the particular provision was to gain a more effective control on trans border crimes crimes in conjunctions and cooperations and cooperations with the state police political role the october 11 2021 notification also included west Bengal and assam in east in its Sweep it triggering a political row. The Punjab and West Bengal Assembly passed by passed a resolution in November against the decision to ex extend BSF's jurisdiction and asked the center to withdraw it. Filed the ruling, Trinamula Congress claimed the BSF new jurisdiction will cover more than 30% of Bengal's territory, including many important towns. The then <coughs> Congress government in Punjab called the decision as an as insult to the state police and attack at an attack on federal structure on Monday. The CJI led bench agreed to look into whether the notifications amounted to, to an arbitrary exercise of power by the center under under section 139 and an unconstitutional interference into Punjab's authority. The bench firming framing the issues for consideration in the suite and said it would consider if the increase of jurisdiction of the BSF to 50 km was beyond the local limits of area adjoining the border of India under the section 139. The court said it would decide the factor which have to be taken into account when demarcating the areas of jurisdiction of the BSF in a Border areas within a state solicitor general Tusar Mehta appearing for the union government said the jurisdiction of the BSF in Gujarat was 80 km, it was 50 km in Rajasthan. In some cases, it is the state entirely. Mr. Mehta submitted the center has argued that the extension of jurisdiction had been made to better police crimes involving illegal entry into the country and offences under the Passport Act, the Advocate General of Punjab, however, countered that BSF jurisdiction would depend on factors like topography, population, concentration, etc. Advocate Southern Parasat also, also for Punjab argued that unlike Gujarat and Rajasthan, while which have Large stretches of marshland and desert, respectively, 50 kilometers in Punjab, which was a comparatively smaller state, would include cities and towns within the ambit of 
the extension of the BSF jurisdiction would take away our powers under entities 1 and 2 public order and police in state list the he submitted. The next article with, with no iron or steel Ayodhya temple sorry with no iron or steel Ayodhya temple is a study in sandstone the Ayodhya temple consecrate, consecrated on Monday is a sprawling structure built on built with sandstone by overcoming and energy engineering challenges and a showing sensitivity to nature says authorities concentrated with its concept constructions champot rai general secretary of the raj of the sri ram janmabhumi tirth khetra said the temple's construction was the built of collective wisdom of some of the best brands in the country no iron or steel has been used in the construction of the grant structure, stones have been sourced from the Bansi Paharpur area in Rajasthan. Images of Lord Hanuman and other deities, peacocks, and flowers patterns have been carved into them. The entire temple superstructure will eventually be three stories, ground plus two floors. Mr. Rai said visitors will climb 32 steps from the Eastern side to reach the main temple Nagara style, the temple complex built in the traditional Nagara style will be 380 feet long from the west to east, 250 feet wide, and 161 feet height. Each floor will be 20 feet height will and will have 392 pillars and 44 gates. During excavations, the ground was found unsuitable for laying the foundation stones, a challenge that engineers overcame by creating an artificial foundation over the over which the superstructure sides around the Grand Temple is a, is a rectangular periphery called Porkota, a feature found in the temples is in South India but not generally in North in North. Mr. Rai had earlier said the Perkota will be 14 feet wide and the periphery spans 732 meters. The temple oil nestled within the Perkota periphery ornate figures of elephant and lions and idols of Hanuman, Lord Hanuman and Garuda were installed at the main entrance earlier this month. They, they have also been made using stand using sandstone from Bansi Paharpur, an ancient Shiva temple that existed on the Kuber Tila has also been re revitalized. Mr. Rai said after the consecration ceremony, Prime Minister Narendra Modi offered prayers at the Kuber Tila, a major, a major part of the temple compound within will be a green area with hundreds of trees. Mr. Rai underlined important features such as sewage and water treatment plants, a fire brigade post and a dedicated electricity lines. About 70% of the complex will be a green area. The green area includes persons which are very dense and in some segments even sunlight hardly filtered. Mr. Rai had said nearly 600 trees and preserved in the in this belt more than three uh, more than 3,000 kg of flowers of over 20 varieties have been used to decorate the grand structure. Says Sanjay Dhawalikar, head of the floral decoration team. So, friends, this is all for today, and we will meet from tomorrow onwards with new news articles from the Hindu newspaper which are relevant from UPSC perspective. So, till then, keep studying and thanks a lot.